What the fuck is that? My name is Chris Condy. I'm gonna rap for you. Okay, you ready? Check. Baby 
me, you grow so paisley I've been gay for a minute, you bitches like me I've been taking the murder for nothing shady These silly rappers that give me up a day Glory and lady, order the pieces for boring a place All of your raps sound exactly the same I am the opposite rock to these beats With a flow that's a lot of the top of my feet He's a top of the sleep Grim Reaper, motherfucker, but I need to have a pizza Eat you all the dumb until I find a pizza Now shoot the pizza from you with the dumb in the freezer What's it like to suck? What's it like to lose a dude who likes the fuck? The dude right up in the box, don't try no suck. Hang with a gang of pops, you like your rock, bro. F-A-G-G-O-T, you can't take my sentence, O-G. F-A-G-G-O-T, 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 you can't take my sentence, O-G. F-A-G-G-O-T, F-A-G-G-O-T.
Okay, this song is about when I like first moved to New York City and I was like, just like living a Madonna fantasy, like wow, wow, this is 45th Street. And I was walking down and I was like, oh, is this the spot? And I went out and I paid the doorman the $35 and I met a boy. And I was like, hey, can you, can you come on my beard? Come on my mustache, come on my face and come on my ass, come on my beard, come on my mustache, come on my face and come on my ass, come on my beard, come on my mustache, come on my face and come on my ass, come on my beard, come on my mustache, come on my face and come on my ass. I'm a bad bitch with a fat ass, I suck dick and I rap. here we just did a song together this is the first time us doing this song together this is a debut was what they would call it please welcome to the stage evie fucking oddly <laughs> back when i was a no one she took me under her wing and wrote a rap song <laughs> um you ready bitch I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I've been working at Safeway for 25 years just for this moment. Just, just to debut my rap single <laughs> with this fat rapper named Chris Condi. All right, we both go. worked the checkout aisle. Yes. Lots of memories taking smoke breaks together and sucking dick behind the, the dumpster. That's how I got my name, Safeway Dumpster. <laughs> And it's not because he does it the safe way. <laughs> it's because it's at Target. <laughs> okay, bitch, it's my show. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what we call a premiere, right? Yeah, it's the premiere. <laughs> I'm not telling you, I forgot about perception, space, and I forgot about 
I'm a fucking freaky faggot. Yes, it's tatted. Walk down the block, stop traveling. Birdie's talking just to God's happy. No, my mama's wishing that. It's the two tones with her daddy. Coming down the top, it's like magic. Bringing fucking heat is like faggot. Let me see the freedom. Let's see the freedom. Let's see the freedom. I ain't even mad. I'm just giving to him every pop. No gang, it ain't funny after dark in the park. Sucking every drop out of every pop. Let him off. Like a faggot. I'm full blown. I'm blasted. Yeah. 
really rap about it, felt no need to explain it. Cause being gay was just a facet of what I was relating. Getting sober was more the boulders on my shoulders that weighed in. I'm a lyrical writing practices back when uppers came in. To the scene, I mean, I think I'm always keeping it honest as much as anyone can, especially with all this vomit of hate. Invading that's raped, sprayed, and painted upon us. I waited a lot of years to explain my story, so I'ma relate a little of growing up gay and little and finding out you don't like the same shit as they do in middle school. A kid confused about liking dudes, hoping it's not true. What will I do if I'm accused, yo, maybe it's all cool. Will and Grace is on TV, so maybe it's all good, but why do I feel like God hates me if it is all good? It's fucking weird. I think I'm queer, so maybe beer is the answer, and the more that I drink, the more I think I'm less of a cancer. What kind of 12-year-old thinks that? I think back, and I'm grateful I didn't lean back. On that railing in Turkey, it's a come to the lurking thoughts of suicide and self-hurting. I'm glad I'm not burdened by my internalized homophobic unworthiness. Lift my skinny fist to the heavens like, I don't deserve this shit like God. I don't deserve this shit. I'd rather drown me buried alive and never heard from again, yo. It took a long time for us to get here, so you will recognize all that we have been through. It took a long time for us to get here, so you will recognize all that we have been through. A couple years later, I'm trying to find a savior, someone to rescue me from all of my depression, despair, and anxiety. So when I find myself inviting a higher being into my life for the first time, and I'm like, finally, I feel peace for the first time. I don't think for the first time in a long time about being deceased in the worst kinds of ways. But in the back of my mind, I know I've decided to deny my inner self that I'm gay, but... If I pray real hard, they say these feelings will fade, that my attraction to men will all be taken away. But I never noticed a change, and I spent those next years a slave to a dogma that caused a lot of empty bottles and veins filled with painkillers, insane feelings of shame. I hate feeling like I just plain hate feeling. So I drank, snorted, shot, smoked, stared at the ceilings, only falling into the void of oblivion, but with a little bit of back and forth and a couple little slips. I decided it was time for a life I can live. It was time for a switch. With the flick of a switch, got a glimpse of a kid. I believed all this shit. I believe I'm a gift. I believe I can live. Yeah, I'm waving a flag with a rainbow in it. And I'm taking no shit. Yeah, I'm taking no shit. Orlando 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting. This poem is for that. For every queer kid out there who was ever made to feel bad or ashamed of things you can't change. Yes, with you I stand. We are equal to humanity. We are never less than. <laughs>